Welcome back everyone to Buxton episode number three and we're here to introduce our new sign-in Zen Mohamed has joined us by centre back or right back 22 uh, year old English defender six foot tall uh, pretty solid all around especially for this level he's very very good uh, to be honest with you he's media description is centre back and he probably will play more as a centre back for us um, but you know, it's nice to have backup as well at right back if needed because we don't particularly have a real backup. Um, so we've got him and Ander now that can play there. Since we were last here, um, it's been poor once again. We lost one of the Kidderminster, Zach Brown's going the only goal in this game. Spending more, it taught us less than 4 0 defeat there. Uh, Tiff Grant Taylor, one for James Curtis, and an own goal from Luke Burke. 3-1 against Scarborough Athletic, Dernley scoring for us, but Coulson getting two and Bramall also scoring there. We did finally get a win though against Brackley, uh, Hardy and two from Deja Alamo giving us the victory, Martin Woods and McCammon scoring for Brackley. 1-1 one -one draw against Darlington, uh, Mark Beck put my head in a late, Tom Elliott equaliser gave us a point, 0-0 no -no against Southport, then we lost 4-2 against Charlie, uh, Charlie even. 3-0 down through Sampson and Cavalier and Wilson. DJ Alamo pulled one back. Lloyd made it 4-1. And then yeah, DJ Alamo got another one later on. And Ander also scored against Gloucester. But in a 3-1 defeat, we were 3-0 down once again in this one. Phillips, King and Dingy uh, scoring in this one. So Banbury and Farsley are coming up in this episode. We're down in 16th place. I say they come up in this episode. Um, maybe not. We're on any... We're constantly getting uh, where are we? these news inbox items that we could get sacked. Um, so we will see. And we've we decided to take an approach of bringing back goals, goals, goals from FM22. It's worked sometimes, hasn't worked other times. We're basically doing what we did with Manchester United in the beta. And we get to the point where we're in trouble and we're panicking. Uh, Burke, Mohamed, Granite, Newton on the back ball with Richardson in goal. Kirby and Malt in midfield, Bun, Castamere and Elliot behind Gilchrist, who we promised extra game time to. Um, we might, you know, regret that because Dijo Alamo is a better player. But he's also so inconsistent. But, you know, we've got to try and keep as many players happy. Morale isn't the greatest at the moment. We're not playing well. Um... Newton complacent, Liam. Pundits don't believe in us, but the fans do. Go and make them proud. That has no effect whatsoever. But we are at home against Bambi, who are up in fifth place in the league. They've, they've had a very, very good season so far. It's going to be a tough game. As we are coming up to the quarter of an hour mark, we've not had a highlight yet. Um, Bambri have only had eight shots in this game, two on target, but none, you know, highlight worthy, no clear cut chances, just the two half chances at the moment. Newton with the throw into Tazdemir inside and hits one, and Ratcliffe has to push it over the bar. It's a decent effort there for Tazdemir. We now have a corner, which Kirby's going to deliver, and it's over everyone and cleared out. Newton's going to pick that up and will be the end of the highlight. Brackley a 3-1 up early on. Rooney with a hat-trick there. Stem scored a fourth. Kirby with another corner. We don't get his head on that one either. Now Hickman can look to counter-attack. He's got no support at the moment. Cuts back and finds Spabos who made the clearing head. And Rasulo hits one from range. It's scored an absolute screamer. <sighs> and once again, we go behind in a game. This time from our corner, Babos, and just look how much space there is here. Midfielders not getting back quick enough, and Rasulo calls an absolute beauty into that top corner. We are 1 0 down. Newton with the throw in gives it straight to Riley Smith. Chips one in, and Bode heads over the bar. Let's encourage. We come towards half time statistically. We probably should be more down. We go into half time. It is 1 0. And I want to see a much better display in that second half. Uh, Gilchrist is going to come off of Dijo Alamo. Elliot is going off for McKay. 
and Newton is going to go up and the uh, So all three changes made at half time. Can we go? The final level as the free kick clips the bar and goes over from Brambury. Mohammed with the free kick. Mohammed of course making his debut and he's only on 6.4, so it's not the best debut. Burke gives it back to him. He chips on four thousand meters offside. Yeah, he was quite clearly offside. We don't need VAR for that one. We are going to demand more, and we've got to throw into the fend, clear downfield. It's going to come back at us as I want to Homer fires well over the bar from the resulting goal kick, which is into granite. Out for under. Malt tries to switch play, but only gives it away. Now Stevens keepers caught nowhere. It's two 0 And what are we doing there defensively? What is Richardson doing in no man's land? We'll see it better from here. How do we just switch off? And God knows where Richardson's going there. But it's two 0 That probably is game. And to be honest with you, that could be the job. We've got 20 minutes to try and find two goals. As Malt calls one just over, and that's the first real chance that we've seen from us so far. I mean, I don't know what we do if we get sacked. This was meant to be a, a year-long save. Burke into the feet of Bourne, who... Plays on forward, but instead of running towards the ball, Tazdemir just runs in behind instead of, you know, he could have got to that ball. Anyway, Burke, Mohamed, knocks one downfield. Hickman now to bring it forward for Banbury. And it's just completely unchallenged. Williams into Stevens. Cross comes in, Smith knocks it down, Hickman. Makes it free. How has Richardson allowed this to go in here? We could be in big trouble. As we just fire straight against it. I mean, that really just sums up McKay. Malt to Burke. Chips one in. McKay might be offside. He is. Two in the back of the net. Two offside. And it's going to be another defeat for us. Last minute of the game. Are they going to go downfield from a goal kick and make it four? Just to make it even worse. No, Richardson claims that one. Throws it out to Granite. To Ander. Born on a 5.9. DJ Alamo pulls one back. At least we scored. Decent goal as well. Give himself enough of an angle to slot it past the keeper, but yeah, three one. It's far from good enough. And uh Harry Bourne. I'm very, very angry with him. Six point now. Yeah. Let's see if we have a board meeting, shall we? We do not. We survive for another game. Um, and that's Farsley in 10 days' time. Time for our second game. This time it's Farsley Celtic. We're away from home. Richardson's in goal. Burke, Sam's Granite and Ander are the back four. Dernley um, are injured. As uh, Newton suspended, sorry, as well. And Clark, just not good enough, frankly. Uh, Kirby and Elliot are in midfield. McKay, Tazdemir, Bunn and Gilchrist 
are that front four. It's going to be tough. Um, I want to be optimistic for games, but just seeing how we've been performing, even against, you know, a team that are struggling like we are at the moment, um, yeah, I just can't be confident. A lot of teams are unsure. At least we got rid of the complacency, I suppose. <laughs> One draw in five for them. Two draws in five for us. So, with a form team in this game, it's not saying much at all, is it? They're down in 23rd. We are 18th. And, um, yeah, we could do with a comfortable win to try and ease um, any worries we may have about our job. But here's parking to scales. Cross is blocked, Atkinson. To Atkinson, who gives it away to McKay. And thought the counter attack might have been on there, but it was a poor ball. Here's Atkinson once again. Mullern switches play. Ander picks up, checks back, and finds the keeper. He stabs downfield, and Gilchrist brings it down. Gilchrist fires home, and it's 1 0. 19 minutes into this game. And uh, probably a defensive mistake, really, there, but it's a good take from Gilchrist and a wonderful finish. Which is Richardson, he's stabbed it forward. And the defender backs off and just sort of forced Gilchrist, and he realises it's going to bounce next to him, brings it down, gives himself an angle, and fires past the keeper for 1 0. And um, yeah. That's, that's what we need. We need more of that. We do need more of that. Uh, to be perfectly honest with you, I'd be more than happy with just a 1-0. I really would. Uh, as it stands, we go up into 14th place. But we're not even at half time yet. So obviously there's still plenty of football to be played in this game. We go in at half time. It is 1-0. Um... He plays nervous. I'd like to play this match with freedom and confidence in yourselves. That's, that's done well for most of them. Let's tell Tom Elliott to relax as well. That's demotivated him. Okay. Um, but most of the team, we got into a good frame of mind here. Granite. De Kirby. Bun. Cuts inside and loses the ball. But Burke wins it back well. Sams looks forward. Clayton, uh, poor Clarence McKay goes down. The referee's given a penalty. Didn't look like a penalty either, but we need something to go away. And Bourne scores. It has gone our way. Um, and like I mentioned in the first episode, I don't care how we get them. If the referee's given it, the referee's given it. We just need to take our chances, and we have done. It's 2-0. Right after half time, Harry Bond with a penalty. And uh, two shots on target, two goals. It's not too bad, is it? Let's go and make some changes now, I think. Okay, it's complacent. He's going off. Uh, Scott Bowden's going to come on for Tazdemir. And Granite's going to go across in that book in, and Mohammed is going to come on there as well. We're now in that sort of stage where if we concede a goal, it's going to be very, very nervy. But as time ticks away and we don't get any highlights, he says as a highlight comes on, uh, I feel a little bit more confident. Bowden to Kirby. Burke swings one in and Bun's not going to get there. Allen. Well, Hearn looks downfield. Sam swings the header well. Kirby in space. Fires one forward. Gilchrist might have been offside. The flag has gone up. But advantage has been played. And as a Debe gets in and hits the post and we clear out and we fell asleep there. We saw the flag go up. Wasn't expecting the advantage to be played, which he was. And uh, we got away with one. Johnson's free kick, pushed wide by Richardson. We're gonna praise the team, even though you know we've been sort of under the cosh a little bit. We're tuning a little bit to praise them, get their heads up. Richardson claims well. Four additional minutes. 
all played for. Sam's going to bring it down. We're going to switch the cautious once these highlights are over. Elliot looks down the line for Osborne to chase. Bolton's going to get there though. Rogerson slams it downfield. Sam's wins the header. Kirby, Elliot, Gilchrist. Born for Osborne to seal the game. And it's a poor touch. And Rogerson quickly looks downfield. And Osadebe is in once again, and he scores this time. It's 2-1 with four additional minutes to play. It's the first goal for the club. He probably should have had one not that long before. It's just a quick ball downfield, and it catches us out. Behind Sam's, good take, good finish. Can we hold on for stoppage time? Take all three points. Yes, we can. Got a bit nervy. Um, I think if you scored that one before I hit the post, then um, it'd have been even worse. But we're going to praise them. We have got the win. Um, that's all that really matters. And we, I know I keep saying this, but we really do need to build on these wins. Try and get a run of form going. Um, try and you know make this job comfortable again. I think next time we're going to do Telford and Hereford. Uh, two teams that are sort of down here with us mid-January. I think that's what we'll do in Wednesday's episode. So if you enjoyed this, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great Monday. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.